Hello everyone. In this lecture, let us learn about another important product of silicate industries that is ceramics. After this session, you will be able to know the definition of ceramics, its properties, classification, raw materials required for the manufacturing of ceramics. Ceramics are a broad class of materials. It can be defined as an inorganic non-metallic solid made up of either metal or non-metal compounds that have been shaped and then hardened by heating to high temperature. The word ceramic is derived from the Greek word ceramos which means burnt stuff. Chemically, these ceramics may be oxides, carbides, nitrites, borides, silicides, etc. The bonding in ceramics are either totally ionic or combination of ionic and covalent. Now, let us see the general properties of ceramic materials. The first one is brittleness. All the ceramic compounds are brittle in nature at room temperature. Since majority of ceramic materials consists of mixed ionic covalent bonding that holds the constituent atoms together. The second one, these ceramic materials are chemically inert and these are stable in both harsh chemical and thermal environments which means they do not react with other chemicals hence they are corrosion resistant also the third one is these are electrical and thermal insulators since the valence electrons in these materials are involved in bonding and are not free as they are in metals leading to poor electrical and thermal conduction. But there are some exceptions for this also. Then, these are refractory materials. That means these ceramic materials can withstand high temperatures. And these ceramics are not single uh, elements. So they are compounds. That means they are composed of more than one element. These properties are however not common to all ceramics. There are some exceptions. And some ceramic materials show unusual properties like high toughness, high conductivity, magnetic properties, etc. Therefore, we need to understand structure property relationship in order to exploit the ceramic materials for practical applications. Since you know that the property of any substance is determined by its structure. Coming to the classification of ceramics mainly we can group them under two broad headings one is traditional ceramics and the other one is advanced ceramics or high technology ceramics these traditional ceramics are also known as silicate based ceramics and they are subdivided into two classes namely heavy clay products and pottery products. Heavy clay products consist mainly of clay with only small amount of other raw materials. Example for this heavy clay products are common bricks, roofing tiles, stone wares, refractories, etc. These pottery products are those materials 
which are made of terracotta earthenware porcelain china wares these include earthenware sanitary wares glazed tiles wall tiles electrical wares etc the another type of ceramics is advanced ceramics or high technology ceramics these are well suited for industrial applications these are the recent developments in the field of material science these came into picture in the 20th century and this advanced ceramics are further classified into electro ceramics structural ceramics bio ceramics thermal barrier coating we are going to discuss about these advanced ceramics and their applications in detail in the upcoming sessions now let us discuss the materials required for the manufacturing of ceramics they are clay feldspar sand and other ingredients such as fluxing agents and refractory materials first one clay this is the most important raw material required so it is the finely ground rock and clay is highly plastic when wet with water plastic means it can be easily shaped or molded when it is uh, in moist condition and the clay becomes hard and stone like when heated to high temperature so this degree of plasticity of clay that means moldability of clay depends on the amount of water already present in the clay or amount of water added size of the clay particles and physical properties of clay as the particle size of clay decreases the plasticity of clay increases so we can conclude that the clay in dry state is non plastic but it changes to plastic form when water is added pulverized and aged so this clay mainly composed of fine particles of hydrous aluminum silicates and other minerals the important common clays used are the first one is kaolin this is also known as china clay chemically it is a hydrous aluminum silicate the second one is illite and its co chemical composition is like this then the second important raw material it is feldspar so this acts as a flux and a binder in ceramic articles and it gives a glassy appearance to the ceramic articles this feldspar is found in crystalline rock like granite and gneiss the important types of feldspar are potash feldspar soda feldspar and lime feldspar the next raw material is sand this sand provides necessary skeletal structure to ceramic ware it helps in reducing the shrinkage and thereby gives rigidity during 
firing. Along with this, other ingredients such as fluxing agents and refractory materials are added during the manufacturing of ceramics in order to improve the opacity, color and other physical properties of the ceramic materials. The fluxing agents added lowers the temperature of firing. The substances like boric acid, borax, soda ash, lead oxide etc are used as fluxing agents. The refractory ingredients like alumina, zirconium oxide, titanium oxide, lime etc are used during the manufacturing of ceramics in order to increase the capacity of ceramic material to withstand high temperature. These are all the raw materials required for manufacturing ceramics. In the next session, let us learn about manufacturing process of ceramics, high technology ceramics and its applications. Thank you.